So when I led training internally, and I used to lead leadership development, I would read everyone's performance appraisals. Right? That was my job, to help advance people's careers. So I would read these performance appraisals. And this is what most of them sounded like. Shar is really good, super helpful, very detail-oriented, great team player. At times, she can be a little inappropriate and have a bad attitude and be unmotivated and condescending. But in general, things are going great. Right? How many of you have received something that someone called feedback that sounded like this in the past? Like, who's gotten this? Inappropriate, bad judgment, inappropriately dressed, you were rude to someone, you were condescending. I have news for you. Are you ready? None of these words are feedback. Not one. Tell me, what is the problem with this? What is missing? It's vague. And vague is judgy. So many of you are not giving your employees feedback because you're afraid of this. If you're going to be vague, you should expect a lot of this. Because if you go back to work and you say to one of your employees, you know, I just thought you were really inappropriate with that customer. What's going to come out of their mouth next is, what do you mean? If somebody says, what do you mean? Can I have an example? You know you have given them Captain Crunch. So I'm going to give you a methodology for never doing this again. Because this is a waste of time and it will damage your relationships. So if your employees are not receptive to your feedback and they're freaking out and they're killing you off and you're afraid they're gonna quit, you gotta stop giving them this because this is a waste of your time and theirs.